In today's video, I'm gonna take over the career of Enzo Fernandez. He's literally been one of the breakout stars of the World Cup. That goal against Mexico, I think that's gonna increase his transfer value by like 20 or 30 million. My boy Enzo Fernandez currently plays for Benfica, but I've seen rumors linking him to Manchester United, to Real Madrid. He's got a bright future ahead of him, and we're gonna be controlling that today for the next 10 seasons. Okay, season one, I think for the first season, I'd wanna keep Enzo at Benfica. Because, bro, they've actually got, like, a good team. He's got Otamendi to guide him. The rest of the team is pretty good, and Benfica will be in the Champions League as well. I think it'll be good experience for Enzo, and we can get that overall really high. But you guys know in these player takeovers, we're allowed to make one signing to help out our player. So let's make one transfer to help out Enzo Fernandez here. Well, Benfica do have a bit of money, you know. 30 million, not bad. So I've just signed Diogo Dalot for, like, 23 million to help out Enzo Fernandez. All right, let's see how Enzo does in his first season here. We're at the end of the season and Benfica haven't managed to win the league. I'm surprised. They lost out by four points. And Champions League? Well, they got sent to the Europa League finishing third. Ooh, Real Betis knocked out Benfica as well. Let's see how our boy Enzo Fernandez has done. Okay, he went up to an 82 overall, which is good. Oh my god, this is bad. Two goals and one assist. He played only two Champions League games. What was this coach thinking? We need to get Enzo out of Benfica. So at the end of the first season, we've got Enzo Fernandez with two goals and one assist and zero trophies. That needs to change. If you guys want to see more player takeovers on the channel, I need y'all to hit that subscribe button. Also, comment down below which player we should do this on. Season two, and it's time for Enzo Fernandez to take it to the next level. We've got him signed for Manchester United. Look at that, boys. Benfica to Man United is the next step for him. 41.1 million. And I think this is the right call because I looked at the Man United team and they've got Ericsson in there. Surely Enzo Fernandez is going to start over him. So there you go. Enzo is now at Man United. Okay, we can now make one signing to improve this Manchester United team. What do we do? Honestly, I think we need to replace Cristiano Ronaldo. He's 38. Maybe we can do that. Or even get a better right back. Remember, we can only make one signing. Yo, our budget's been wiped out. We've only got 38 million. I feel like such an idiot doing this, but I'll literally sign Diogo Dalot back to Man United. I couldn't find a better right back option for the prize and there you go we've got him for like 20 million all right so this is the team enzo fernandez is playing in for this season we'll let him have a season with cristiano ronaldo come on now enzo you gotta score more than twice we're at the end of the first season am i seeing things or has Bruh. enzo fernandez not moved up one bit in his overall bro what happened did i like forget to put a development plan or something on him why has his potential been nerfed bro this is this is horrendous anyways he did end up playing 28 games Games, but again, scored only twice, bro. Can my man score more than two goals? But both his goals came in the Champions League, though. Come on, tell me he's at least won a trophy. Well, not the Premier League, that's for sure. Oh, let's go. Enzo gets his first trophy. It's the FA Cup. We'll take that, even though he didn't have much of a contribution this season. Let's see how Man United did in the Champions League. This is where he actually scored a couple of goals. They finished second in the group and got knocked out by RB Leipzig. Yo, what's going on at Man United? Next season's got to be better. So after two seasons. Enzo is at a combined total of four goals and one trophy. I think he's got an assist as well, but what even? Is Manchester United about to ruin a career of another top talent? I think we gotta keep Enzo Fernandez at Man United for another season. He can't leave without winning the Premier League for them. But to do that, I think Enzo needs a bit of help. We gotta replace Cristiano Ronaldo. Ooh, we got 200 million. Let's sign a new striker. Harry Kane at Manchester United. Let's do this. I think he's gonna help out Enzo. With Kane now up top, I swear if Enzo doesn't get more than like one assist, I mean, that's how low the bar is. Ronaldo is being put on the bench just like Eric Den Haag would love it. Actually, we shouldn't even have Ronaldo in the squad. His contract's been terminated. You know what? We got to do it. Ronaldo, you're... Oh, he's retiring. We can't we can't release him from his contract now that he's retiring. Anyways, this season, Enzo, you better grow in your overall and, of course, win some trophies and actually score more than two goals. At the end of season three, and Enzo Fernandez has made a comeback, boys. He went up by three ratings this season, up to an 86 at the age of 24. But 
Bro, what is up with him in midfield? Like, honestly, one goal and one assist? My man's gonna struggle to hit double digits. But he did play like 34 times, so that, that counts for something. The real question is, have they won the league? No, they haven't. Man City end up winning the league. Come on, community team, let's go. That is another trophy for Enzo Fernandez. No FA Cup, no Carabao Cup either. What about the Champions League? Of course, top of the group. They knocked out Sevilla. Oh my God. God, Man United knocked out Barca too. And PSG, Enzo Fernandez could end up winning the Champions League. Bro, imagine if he scores in this game, he is starting. We need Enzo Fernandez to get his second goal of the season against Madrid. Let's see what happens. Nope. Madrid end up beating them. Oh my God. And Enzo got hooked for Van Der Beek. <sighs> well, it's not been a good three seasons for Enzo Fernandez. So far in these three seasons, Enzo has scored five times, two assists, two trophies. It's getting a bit embarrassing. You know what I'm feeling, boys? Enzo Fernandez needs a bit of change. At Man United, won a few trophies, but it's clearly not worked. He's not getting the output. I think, boys, I want to put Enzo Fernandez on the transfer list and just see what kind of clubs come with offers. Let's see. Let's let's make it a bit random. Ooh, it's Milan who've come in with an offer for Enzo Fernandez. AC Milan. That sounds very interesting, you know? I think, yup, Enzo Fernandez's next destination is Italy. He's gone... Enzo Fernandez is leaving Man United and he's joining AC Milan. A 93 million transfer fee. A bit insane for someone who scored five goals in his last three seasons. Guys, is that, is that Enzo giving an interview to Piers Morgan and slandering Man United? Probably. All right, we've got Enzo Fernandez right into that box-to-box -box role at AC Milan. I think that suits him, you know? And this Milan team is good. Remember, we can make one signing to improve this team and you know who we're replacing. Got about 100 million to spend. Okay, a bit of Brazilian flair to help out Enzo Fernandez. That Milan team with Enzo in the midfield looks insane. Let's hope Enzo can hit double digit goals or even assists. Oh my god, this is painful. But two points, we miss out on winning the Serie A title. Oh my god, Enzo is yet to win a league title. You know what's crazy? We weren't in the Champions League, Europa League, Conference League, anything. How bad were Milan before this? A bit annoying that Enzo only managed to go up by one overall. He's 25, I expect him to be like 90 rated at this point. But he did finally start scoring goals. Eight goals in the Serie A along with seven assists. That's I think the best season we've got out of him. Well at least now finally Enzo's picking up the pace. 13 goals and nine assists along with a couple of trophies though. Next season has to be better at Milan. Before we get back to Milan it's World Cup diamond. Yes Enzo Fernandez has been picked for the 2026 World Cup. This is his best shot at winning the World Cup because look at that Argentina team. No Leo Messi, but Enzo's there. Lautaro, Alvarez, the team's good. So already a couple of games have been played in the group stages, and Argentina are top of the group. Let's see if they can win this game against Czech Republic to top the group. Can Enzo score, please? Enzo does not score, but it's a 3-0 win. Oh, wow. It's Belgium in the knockouts of the World Cup. Okay, let's see if Enzo and the boys can knock out Belgium. It's going to be tough. No. Enzo Fernandez's World Cup ends in disappointment in the round of 16. Well, sadly Enzo didn't get a single goal or even an assist at the World Cup, so his stats remain the same. Alright, we're back now with AC Milan for season 5. I really want to see Enzo Fernandez just hit that 90 overall this season. I hope he will. But yeah, we've got one signing to make to improve this team. It's got to be a left back. I've just signed Theo Hernandez to help out Enzo Fernandez and just make this Milan team even better. Bro, this team is more than good enough to win, like, the big trophies and let's hope they can do it. Let's go, boys! It's taken us five seasons, but we've made Enzo Fernandez 90 rated. Let's go. And oh, he's actually had a very decent season. 14 assists and six goals. That's what's up. That might be more assists than he's had in like his entire career so far. No, he's missed out on Serie A by a point. The trophies aren't coming. Aye, aye, aye. No Coppa Italia as well. Champions League, we topped the group. We knocked out Enzo's former team, Man United. But Villarreal knock us out the Luck's just not been there. You know what? Enzo is now 90 rated in his prime. It's time we get him to a club where he's guaranteed to win the big trophies. He's got 19 goals and 23 assists, but only two trophies so far. That needs to change. We've got Enzo Fernandez at Real Madrid for season six. Time to get him the real trophies, man, because we've been lacking that. He's 90 rated, deserves to be at a club like this. 171 million was the fee. Also, guys, just as I record this video, 
Argentina knock out Australia from the World Cup. Funnily enough, Enzo actually scored an own goal. But, but we're going to keep the scarf on for the rest of the video. What on earth is this super team Enzo Fernandez has walked into? It is insane. 90 rated Fede, 92 Vinicius. The defense is nuts. Like, what even? If he can't win big trophies here, he's not winning it anywhere. We've got one signing to help out Enzo. It's got to be a right back. And 191 million as well to spend. Let's make it easy. I'm bringing back Ashraf Hakimi to Real Madrid. By the way, he's having a sensational World Cup for Morocco. Yo, this Madrid team looks sensational. Come on, Enzo. You got to be getting more goals, assists, and trophies this season. This is why we put Enzo Fernandez at Real Madrid instantly. He ends up winning a league title. That's trophy number three, I think. Make that another one because he's won the Spanish Cup as well. A domestic double or trophies for Enzo. The Champions League is the one Madrid fans want and they finish second in the group and get pummeled Bruh. by Man United, a club that Enzo Fernandez played before. That's tough. Okay, though, my boy Enzo Fernandez did manage to grow to 91. Let's see, went up by one overall. Not bad. Played 52 games, but the stats, guess he's a midfielder, boys. We're not going to see the showstopper stats from him. 12 assists and a couple of goals. That's looking good for Enzo Fernandez after his first season at Madrid. 21 goals, 35 assists and 4 trophies. Let's hopefully create a legacy here at Madrid. Let's get Enzo a world-class defender at the back just to help him out a little bit for season what, 7. Bro, we've legit given Enzo Fernandez a super team. By the way, he's up to a 92 overall. How far can he go? Should we start checking whether he could win the Ballon d'Or? It's Vinicius Jr. Enzo Fernandez's teammate who ends up winning the Ballon d'Or. Winning the Ballon d'Or will be just ridiculous. Like, almost impossible from midfield. You want to win the big trophies? You joined Real Madrid. Look at that. Two league titles in two seasons for Enzo. But since we got to the Champions League final that one time, we haven't been able to do well. We topped the group with PSG though. And Benfica, Enzo's former club, were in this group. Round of 16, we knocked out Ajax. What a finals gone through Napoli. But Atletico Madrid knocking us out. Ay, ay, ay. Ooh, Enzo Fernandez up to a 93 overall right now. My God. Oh, this was a good season for him. 55 games played, 8 goals and 14 assists. Now we're looking at some really good stats. Couple of seasons at Madrid and look at Enzo. 29 goals, 49 assists and 5 trophies. Although I feel like he should have won more trophies by now. I think we gotta stay at Madrid for one more season because I think this is the place where Enzo can win the Champions League. And also this is I think a World Cup here and being 93 rated, I think he might have a chance. I'm adding a goalkeeper for Real Madrid because I feel like they've only got Courtois in it. So an 86 rated player in there is an option. Not bad. Alright, come on Enzo. It's a World Cup here. You need to deliver. I can't believe it, man. They've nominated everyone from Madrid but Enzo Fernandez for player of the year. I think from midfield winning the Ballon d'Or, you need to do something ridiculous. Three league titles at Real Madrid. That's awesome. Can we win some more trophies, though? The Super Cup as well. That's another one. Oh, we lost the Spanish Cup final, though. Ultimately, it's about the Champions League. We topped our group. We got knocked out by Milan. Enzo's former club. No luck whatsoever in the Champions League. Look at Enzo Fernandez. He is now 94 rated. Oh, my days. And he's had his best ever season at Real Madrid. 18 goals and 13 assists. Bro, he is ready for the upcoming World Cup. Just before the World Cup begins, Enzo's on 7 trophies, 62 assists, and what, 47 goals. Argentina managed to top their group in Enzo Fernandez's final World Cup. They had a pretty interesting group with Wales, Norway, and Ghana. But round is 16, they got knocked out by Spain. Enzo, did he score at this World Cup? Yes, indeed. Enzo Fernandez is a World Cup scorer, so fair play. That goal gets added on to his tally. Last two seasons of us taking over Enzo Fernandez, and I'm thinking, let's have him at PSG along with Kylian Mbappe. Bro, this was a 261 million record-breaking transfer fee. Okay, I quickly realized this PSG team isn't all that good. Can I convert Enzo Fernandez to like a camp? Yo, if we can make him a camp for his final few seasons, that would be insane. It'll take only a couple of weeks. Yo, Enzo Fernandez and Cam. We can even make him like a right winger or a left winger. That's how versatile he's become. But let's see Enzo Fernandez at camp for a couple of seasons. And there you go. We've made him a camp and he goes up to 95 overall, bro. What have we built over here? Also, guys, we need to get PSG a bit of help. I'm signing Jurian Timber. He's 91 rated for 110 million to help out Enzo. Yo, Enzo's got a team. He's now 96 rated. I'm really curious to see how he fares in that camp spot. Real Madrid just got the juice, man. Vinicius still 
still winning the Ballon d'Or. He's lower rated than Enzo. But yeah, but because maybe we move clubs, that's why we'll have another shot at this next season. Of course, being at PSG means you're literally guaranteed a free league title. We'll take that. But in the Champions League, finishing second in our group and playing former club Milan. But we knocked out Dortmund. We knocked out Barca. We knocked out Real Madrid. Good. Man City beat us in the final. Ay, ay, ay. Closest to winning the Champions League. We've got one more season to try, though. Let's see how the cam... Oh, my God. Am I seeing things? Enzo Fernandez went up to a 98 overall this season. What? He scored 23 times in 15 goals, 71 goals, 77 assists, and 8 trophies for Enzo in 9 seasons. One last season. Let's see. Oh, no. Donnarumma has joined Arsenal. Yo, for this final season, I think our only signing should be to just bring back Donnarumma. Yeah, having like an insane keeper is what you need to win titles. So we're just gonna sign Donnarumma back. Donnarumma's back for the final season. Let's go! This is it. The final season for Enzo Fernandez. Can he win a Ballon d'Or and potentially the Champions League as well? Nah, man. The Ballon d'Or is rigged in FIFA 23. You just can't win it being a midfielder. I'm here to collect our free Liga title. That is another trophy. And another one. Make that 10 trophies for Enzo. But the big one is this. One last attempt of winning it. We topped our group. We knocked out Ajax. We got through Liverpool. We knocked out Dortmund. And in the final against Enzo's former club, Madrid. All right, this is going to be epic. Can Enzo Fernandez do it against Real Madrid, his former club? Can Mbappe do it or someone? Yes, they all managed to do it. Mbappe, Esugo, and Pellegrini. Enzo gets a Champions League to wrap things up. That is one nice photo of Enzo Fernandez and the Champions League. Not going to lie, it's mad that we got him up to a 98 overall and look at his stats this season save the best for the last 26 goals and 20 assists what a career Enzo's had scoring 96 times 97 assists and 11 trophies i'd say we did a successful job of taking over enzo fernandez's career if you enjoyed today's video why not check out me fixing liverpool I click somewhere here to watch that it was challenging